Hello, I'm Zagaraf, and today I'm going to show you how to use Photoshop CS5 to create panoramas out of your photos. The first step is to open Photoshop and then open the photos that you're going to use for your panorama. This isn't necessary at this stage, but I find it's easiest if you do. Next, you're going to go to File, Automate, Photo Merge. When that comes up, you can choose which type of photo merge you want to create. Usually it's best just to do auto, but you could do spherical if your panorama goes the whole way around. Then click Add Open Files. That's why I choose to open the photos earlier. The other alternative would be to open them afterwards and to browse and find them now. Then just select OK. And then we wait for Photoshop to just chew through them, merge the photos together into a panorama. Once Photoshop is finished chewing through the photo, you'll end up with something that looks a bit like this. This is an example I took at the Three Sisters in New South Wales. The problem with this is, it's not a perfect rectangle, which is what you would want your photo to be normally. So to fix that, you've got two options. One is to just crop, and then you're taking the lowest common denominator. But the problem with that is, you end up with a, a much smaller photo. As a Photoshop CS5, you have a new alternative, which uses the new feature called Content Aware Fill. So to do this, you're going to want to merge all the layers into one. So just right click down on the, all the layers and click merge. And then use the magic wand tool to select any space of the transparent space. And then on Windows you would press delete. On Mac it's shift F5 or for me it's Fn shift F5 because the F5 key is used to, ch to change the backlight brightness. So then it'll come up with this fill menu. Make sure you've selected content aware, normal, 100%, and then just click OK. It, sh it should be the default settings like this. And then just click OK. And then it'll chew through that and fill that out based on what it thinks should be in that space. OK, and depending on how, depending on just how much blank space there is, you might need to do this more than once because, as you can see on mine, it, it's only done about half of the photo in the first take. So then I'll take it a second time, let it chew through that, and then it'll have filled out the whole thing. Once it's finished, once it's finished with the first section, repeat the same for the second section or any subsequent sections that there may be. And then just shoot to that. As you can see it takes a very long time to do this, especially on lower powered machines. It's very RAM intensive. So don't be surprised if you get a message saying you don't have enough RAM. Um, while I was waiting for that to happen, I actually went in for my shower, came back, it was done. Um, so then there it is. You've got your whole thing filled out. Um, depending on what is in the panorama, it might not work perfectly like, like it has here. So you might want to do this and then crop as well, or possibly clone stamp or something. But in my case it's worked perfectly. Um, I'm just going to show you another feature very quickly. Another way of using the same feature actually. And as you can see, it's got this railing here which which doesn't look very nice. So I'm just going to get rid of it using the lasso tool to just select the area okay select the area with the lasso tool it doesn't have to be very accurate at all being very rough with this
Okay, then the same key, delete or shift F5. Hit OK. It'll chew through that and the railings will disappear. Because this is a small area, it shouldn't take quite so long this time. And there you go. You can see it's not quite perfect, but it looks brilliant from back here. And there you go. You've got your panorama perfectly filled out. Nice rectangle. And it's actually larger than it would have been if you'd used previous methods like cropping it. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and rate on my video. And you can follow me on Twitter at Zagarath. My blog is zagarath.blogspot.com. And subscribe to me on YouTube at youtube.com slash L-O-T-R Zagarath.